Okay, so let's see how this game is right now. We have our ship that can fly through space by controlled by the mouse, and it is flying through a star field, and we can shoot some bullets. What we're going to do now is create an enemy to shoot out of a sphere. I'll replace it later with a better 3D um, object. And I'm going to drop that sphere into an empty prefab, which I'm going to call Enemy 1. There, that populates the prefab. And I've already written this Enemy 1 script. I'm going to drag that onto the Enemy 1 prefab. And we, uh, so the script shows up down here. The sphere collider, I want this to be a trigger for what's going to happen in the script. And I also need a rigid body to be on this sphere so it can collide with the bullet. I'm going to take off gravity because I'm not using gravity in this game. So I'm going to go into the enemy one script here. And we'll see that there's nothing in the start function yet, nothing in the update function, but we're adding a new function called on trigger enter. The parameter is the colliding object, so that's going to be the bullet in this case. And what this says is uh, destroy other, which is the um, the other object, no matter what it is, and the game object. So that will get rid of the bullet out of our game. So let's see how that works. We'll go back into Unity and play. So I can shoot bullets and they go out of the screen. They destroy themselves off screen. And here, um, I actually need to change the sphere position a little bit. The Z was off. So I'm going to delete that original sphere and I'm going to drop my prefab back into the world. Okay, so this is how we can get bullets to hit our enemies. And the next thing to do is um, either destroy the enemy also or uh, give it some hit points so that you have multiple shots to shoot it down. And that's how you work with um, triggers and destroying bullets.